And this morning, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are finally back on Earth after 286 Ooh. days in space. That's right. CBS News correspondent Karen Hua joins us live from Space Center Houston this morning. Karen, this return was a long time coming. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Steph and Yugochi. Definitely a long time coming, so you can imagine how exciting these past few days have been. But their journey's not quite over yet. They still have to spend a few days here at the Johnson Space Center, just in their crew quarters to make sure those medical experts can check them out, make sure they're readjusting to the gravity back on Earth. The SpaceX Dragon carrying Will Moore and Williams, along with Crew 9 Commander Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida at just before 6 p.m. yesterday. Some happy waves, smiles all around. A pod of dolphins swam nearby as the recovery team pulled the capsule out of the water and later assisted the four crew members as they climbed out. Ignition. The two astronauts launched on the first human test flight of the Boeing Starliner in June of last year. But the vessel developed propulsion problems and for safety reasons returned to Earth without them, stretching their planned eight day mission to nine months. It was a SpaceX vessel that finally brought them home after it carried their replacements to the ISS. And it shows the benefits of the commercial public private partnership that we have. During their extended mission, Williams set a spacewalk record for women astronauts. NASA says she and Wilmore also conducted more than 150 experiments. Wow, definitely a lot of notable work when they were up there longer than expected. So Karen, how long will it be before Butch and Sunny will get to go home? Well, ideally, it'll just be one or two days, depending on their health. But you can imagine they've spent nine days in this very, essentially in this tin can up in space where the gravity is very, very different. So readjusting to the atmosphere here is going to depend on how their body responds to it. Of course, different oxygen levels here back on Earth. Uh, of course, we don't want them experiencing any other symptoms like dizziness, shortness of breath. But once they're cleared, they're going to get to go home. And thankfully, thankfully they live close by in mm -hmm. Texas. Back to you. Karen, thank you. Hopefully they go home soon. Reunite with their families. Yeah, so. they, they're you. dealing with what uh, what they refer to as chicken legs right now. <laughs> so they need to straighten those out first. Before they get back. Glad home, they're right. back here on Earth, though.